In the highly anticipated premiere of season 13 of Chicago Fire, titled Monster in the Field, fans were drawn into an intricate web of emotions, suspense, and the ever-present danger that defines the life of the firefighters at Firehouse 51. The episode artfully balanced high-stakes firefighting action with poignant character moments, setting the stage for what promises to be a thrilling season. As the episode unfolds, viewers are reminded of the significant changes that have rocked the One Chicago franchise in recent years. The departures of key characters such as Blake Gallo, Sylvie Brett, Derek Gibson, and Chief Wallace Bowden have left indelible marks on the team. Each exit has not only changed the interpersonal dynamics, but also impacted the operational effectiveness of Firehouse 51. Chief Bowden's leadership was a cornerstone of the team's identity, and his absence has created a palpable void. His attempts to mentor Christopher Herman as his successor fell short, leaving the Firehouse without a steady hand to guide them. In his place, Dermot Mulroney's Dom Pascal has come onto the scene bringing an air of uncertainty and intrigue. As the new leader, Pascal is navigating the challenges of stepping into a role filled by a beloved figure. Seve Ride, the team's seasoned firefighter, finds himself at a crossroads, grappling with the need to adapt to a new leader while also managing the emotional fallout from his friend's departures. The tension between honoring the past and embracing the future is a central theme that resonates throughout the episode. Amidst the backdrop of these changes, the premiere cleverly hints at the potential exit of another original character, heightening the stakes for viewers who are deeply invested in the fates of their favorite characters. The suspense is masterfully woven into the narrative, teasing fans with the possibility that their beloved characters may not be safe after all. This uncertainty not only keeps the audience engaged, but also reflects the unpredictable nature of life in the firehouse, where every alarm could signal a new crisis. Cruz's decision to turn down the lieutenant's exam adds another layer of depth to the storyline. This choice is emblematic of the personal struggles faced by the firefighters, as they navigate their aspirations while also confronting the emotional toll of their profession. Cruz's reluctance to step into a leadership role speaks volumes about the pressure that comes with such responsibilities, especially in an environment where lives are on the line. It highlights the internal conflicts that many characters face, balancing personal ambition with loyalty to their team and the legacy of those who have come before them. The emotional resonance of this season premiere is further amplified by the relationships among the crew. The bond between Severide and his colleagues is tested as they learn to rely on each other in new ways. The camaraderie that has defined Firehouse 51 is put to the test, requiring them to adapt to new dynamics and forge deeper connections amid the chaos. The team's ability to rally together in the face of adversity will be crucial as they learn to navigate the complexities of both their professional and personal lives. As the season progresses, viewers can expect an exploration of these evolving relationships, the challenges of leadership, and the impact of loss on the team. The emotional roller coaster of season 13 is set to delve into what it truly means to be part of Firehouse 51, where teamwork, sacrifice, and resilience are paramount. Will the team find a way to embrace change and support one another, or will the pressures of their demanding roles drive them apart? The anticipation surrounding these questions adds to the excitement of the season, promising to keep fans engaged and emotionally invested in the fate of Firehouse 51 as they navigate the trials ahead.